So one of the major points of doing all of this was that we could reduce things down into smaller and smaller text. And one of the things that I can actually do to do that is actually utilize something known as a lambda expression. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get rid of, oh, even before I get rid of it, let's take a look at what we're saying here for a second. I'm saying create a new event handler that takes or is expecting an action event, meaning a clicking of the mouse. Inside there, create an integer count. And also, when someone clicks on whatever our button, our, our thing is, whenever this event uh, transpires, this is what I want you to do. I want you to increment count and then just do a system.out.print uh, ln OK button has been pressed X number of times. What I can do with this is if we take a look, you know, this arg0, I don't like arg0, I know it's a generic thing that Eclipse will put in, but uh, typically I'll try and make this something like E, you know, it, whatever, it's my little kind of cup of tea. Uh, if you want something like AE, and you can see, you know, we've actually done this in the past. When we were working with exceptions, for example, we made an exception E. Yes, I know it's erroring, but I'm trying to demonstrate that, you know, we would say exception E, uh, something like action event A. You know, I'm just giving it a name. It's just a parameter. In fact, I'll keep it AE. Now, that AE, since if we look at this for a second, uh, event handler was an interface. And the only thing inside of that uh, interface was a method, an abstract method called handle that took one parameter, an action event. And we're going to call our parameter in action event AE. Well, permit me to come in here for a second and do all of that. All right, you're starting to get scared. What's he, what's he about to do? I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say E dash greater than dash greater than we've never touched that that's you know that's like PHP stuff going on there well what we're doing is we're basically creating again this lambda expression where we take all that text that we have down here and I'm reducing it down to the bare essentials I know oh well instead of E just so we demonstrated it I was calling it AE and just so it doesn't throw you off too much you can see here's that AE here Here's that AE here. Java, because of how a Lambda expression is sort of uh, designed, knows for a fact that this is referring to an action event. And so what we can do, because again, we're designing this out, is I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some curly braces. Notice what happened when I did that. I have no error going on right now. So Java's okay with this. Now, if I run this, nothing's gonna happen, uh, in fact, just so we can see that in action, yes. Uh, you can see because my set on action is to do nothing, I have it doing nothing. But if I come into those curly braces, remember all they mean is that this is gonna have, contain a block of code. If I come in here and then tack on system.out.println, okay, pressed, Mm. So if we run this a second time, what's going to happen? Well, as soon as I hit OK, <gasps> OK, pressed. Look at that. That's amazing. All that text that we did just got shorthanded into one line. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, oh, well, how would I implement the count? Well, here's the kind of caveat to this. Now that we're doing this lambda expression, we're really condensing everything down. We're compressing it down to bare essentials. And unfortunately, the count is not a bare essential. So it actually is not really one of those things that we can just immediately fire off the get-go. But as you can see, this just by itself allows us to kind of reduce things down to the bare essentials.